Non-disjunction refers to the failure to separate. As this applies to meiosis, it is the failure of homologous pairs to separate during anaphase 1 of meiosis 1, or of sister chromatids to separate during anaphase 2 of meiosis 2. This first example shows non-disjunction in anaphase 1 of meiosis 1, and so you see the pink homologous pair of chromosomes failed to separate. This therefore results in half of the daughter cells containing one extra chromosome, or n plus 1, and the other half of the daughter cells containing one less chromosome, or n minus 1. In this second example, we'll show non-disjunction in anaphase 2 of meiosis 2. So you can see the pink sister chromatids on the left-hand side fail to separate into separate daughter cells. Of the four daughter cells produced in this example, one of them will have one extra chromosome, n plus 1, one will be short by one chromosome, n minus 1, and the other two will have the normal number of chromosomes, n. Now if this non-disjunction were to occur in either meiosis 1 or meiosis 2 to chromosome number 21, this would result in one of the gametes having two copies of chromosome number 21. During fertilization, if one of these gametes with n plus 1 or two copies of chromosome number 21 fuses with one with the normal number of chromosomes, one copy of chromosome number 21, then the result is a cell with 2n plus 1 chromosomes, or three copies of chromosome number 21, and this results in Down syndrome. Down syndrome can be identified on a karyotype by looking for three copies of chromosome number 21, known as trisomy 21. The karyotype will also show whether the individual is a male XY or a female XX.